Good Sunday, everyone. Our weather map today shows high pressure in control of our neck of the woods. Now, we do have quite a bit of clouds out there, especially this morning. Some of them are even producing a couple of snow flurries here and there. Winter has definitely made a return for our Sunday. Looking to the northeast around the New England area, we'll see some snowflakes flying, and some of those will be accumulating. And then farther out to the west, we see yet another storm system moving into the western U.S., bringing mountain snows and valley rains. Our five-day forecast shows that chance of flurries, especially in the morning hours of our Sunday. Highs only in the mid-30s. There's just a little bit of a breeze out there up to 10 miles an hour that whew, can really put a nip in that air. Tonight, a hard freeze. Lows in the mid-teens. Make sure your outside fur babies have a warm, dry bed. And make sure any pipes that you've got exposed that you may have neglected during all the warm weather, make sure that's that's been covered back up again. Make sure your neighbors, especially the elderly and the disabled, have heat for tonight. It is going to be a cold night. Monday, highs, up, highs warm up to 50. And then by Tuesday, we're in the mid-50s. And then by Wednesday, 60. So one thing good about this time of the year is that when you get a cold spell, it, it warms up right quick. And look at that high on Thursday, low 70s. Unfortunately, the winds will be picking up at that point. Those will be from the south. Those will be bringing in some moisture from the Gulf. As the warm front lifts over us Wednesday, we'll see a chance for a shower, but the greater chance for rain will come on Friday when we also have the risk for some severe thunderstorms. The Storm Prediction Center is already outlining our area in that threat. The five P's of cold weather pre preparedness. I'd hoped we had been past this, but we, we are not. <laughs> we still have tonight. Got to protect those pets, practice fire safety, whatever heat source you use, please make sure you use it safely. Watch out for that carbon monoxide risk. Protect people. Make sure your neighbors and, and friends have heat and protect those pipes and any plants you've got outside. If there's been something you've been trying to save, then you, you, you better make sure it's extra protected tonight because it is going to be very, very cold. And on this day, 1935, suffocating dust storms <laughs> occurred frequently in southeastern Colorado. Between the 12th and the 25th, six people lost their lives. Livestock starved or suffocated. Up to six feet of dust covered the ground. Schools were closed. Can you imagine? 1950, Timberline Lodge reported 246 inches of snow on the ground, which was a record for the state of Oregon, and I would certainly hope so. And in 1990, 80-degree weather in the eastern U.S. the previous week was replaced by wintry weather. Even brought some snow to the northern and central Appalachians with eight inches of snow being reported in western Virginia. So this time of the year can be quite uh, uh, tipsy-turvy when it comes to the weather. One thing one week and one thing the next. Sometimes one day changes from one thing to the next. Well, you folks have a wonderful Sunday and keep looking up. I, even more we I have even more weather information in the blog, including a review of your severe weather safety tips, just in case we have to use those on Friday. Go ahead and prepare now. Get those weather radios. You can order those on Amazon. I've been told Walmart and Kroger might be sold out, but you can probably still get them online through them. Um, but uh, anyway, I have more information on that in the blog. Let's all have a wonderful Sunday. Keep looking up for more weather. Just keep reading along in the blog. Meteorologistsmart.com.